Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore a backup and how to transfer data on your Honor 400 Pro. Alright, so let's begin uh, with the first method and I'm going to show you how to transfer data uh, from another device uh, as a first method and the next uh, thing I'm going to show you is how to restore backup from the uh, Google one. So. Uh, first, uh, we are doing the setup process, as you can see, uh, simply select your language and then your region, click on continue, in here you must uh, agree to above terms, click on continue, if you have a SIM card you can uh, insert it right now, but always you can do it later, and now we need to connect into a, a network, uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now, so just give me a second, I'm gonna type my password, Click on connect, click on continue, okay and now we have the thing that we are interested in, copy absent data, we want to click on next, click on next, and uh, now the phone wants us to use the cable. Uh, in that case, uh, it would be USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, but if you don't have uh, the cable that fits, you can always click on no cable, click on copy without, and now we're gonna use the Wi-Fi to it. So click on next. Now we need to wait. Uh, now on our second device, we need to open up the Google app. Okay, now we need to type uh, or say, uh, okay, Google set up my device or, oh, as you can see it, uh, it has activated, but uh, mm, but also you can simply type set up my device and as you can see it also works. So click on next, uh, verify uh, the shapes uh, on your uh, devices. If they are the same, click on next, click on copy. And now I need to confirm uh, by drawing the pattern. Uh, and now the account is being copied. So now we need to wait. Okay, getting ready to copy, we need to again wait. And now we have option what uh, to copy. Mm, in here we can select uh, manually uh, what we want to copy. Uh, for example, when it comes to the apps, you don't need to copy you know, all uh, 47 of them. You can simply click right in here. And now manually you can simply select the apps that you are not or interested in. Once you have uh, selected everything, mm, click on copy, but in my case I don't want any of apps to be copied. So now click on copy. The process is now uh, running in the background. Okay, now we have the Google services. Click on more and click on accept. And here we have a possibility to mm, turn on the backup. Uh, I suggest you should enable those things and click on turn on. And we can also see on our second device that the copying is finished. And now click on next. And uh, now we need to select our default browser. In my case, it's gonna be the Google Chrome. Uh, click on set as default. Now select your search engine. Uh, it's gonna be Google in my case. Click on set as default. Click on continue. And now we have the uh, Gemini, which is the uh, assistant. We can turn it on or click on no thanks. It's up to you. And now you can see that the copying is uh, done. So click on done. Now again, we need to wait a little bit. So simply be patient. Uh, okay, now we have uh, some honor stuff. Mm, click on set manually, click on continue. 
Uh, in here you have a possibility to log into the owner ID, uh, but in my case uh, I'm gonna click on no account or other login methods. In here you can also uh, create the owner ID account if you want, but you can always click on setup later in settings. And that's also what I'm going to do now. In here click on no thanks if you want to create it later. Uh, in here you can add the fingerprint, uh, the face recognition and the set your password. Uh, but you can always do it later. Just like me I'm gonna click on set later. In here I'm gonna click on skip. Same thing with the Google Pay, I don't need uh, any payment methods. Uh, in here you can click on enable all services. In here I'm gonna click on join. And now let's select your uh, navigation method. <laughs> it can be gestures or the three keys. I'm gonna leave the gestures. If you want, I can also launch the tutorial. Then click on finish. And now our device is ready to use. Uh, also, if you take a look uh, in the notification bar, uh, you will notice that uh, some of the uh, apps uh, might be uh, downloaded from the uh, Play Store. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, simply wait uh, until everything will be downloaded uh, and don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet until this process is finished. Alright, on our second device we can click on close. And now we are ready to use our new device. You can see that also the uh, wallpaper has been already copied. Alright, so that was the first method uh, and now I'm going to show you how to restore backup from the Google One. Okay, so now we are again doing the set setup process uh, and when we have option to copy apps and data, we want to click on next, but now we want to click that we cannot use other device and now let's click on OK. Now we need to wait. Okay, checking info. And now it is a really important thing. Now we have a possibility to log in into our uh, Google account. Uh, and uh, just like I have said uh, earlier, in this method I'm going to show you how to restore backup from the Google One. Uh, also, if you don't know how to create uh, the backup using the Google One, on our channel there's a bunch of videos when I'm showing you how to mm, create such a backup, so if you want you can look for it. Uh, and now, mm, we need to log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup earlier. It is crucial. Uh, if you want, if you log in into other account, you won't have a possibility to restore the backup. So now I'm gonna simply log in. I'm gonna type my mail first. All right. Now click on next. Now I need to type the password. Okay, then click on next. Oh, I uh, typed it wrong. Okay, click on next. Click on next once more. Click on agree. Okay, and now we have the thing that we were looking for, restore data from another device and choose a backup below. In here, as you can see, there is a list of backup that uh, I have made uh, on that account. Uh, now I'm gonna select the, the backup that I made uh, on this uh, phone, as you can see, 23 minutes ago. Simply click. And now uh, we want to uh, select what we want to restore. And when it comes to the Google Photos, Gmail, Calendar and Drive, you can see it, will, it is synced automatically. Uh, and now, mm, choose what to restore. Uh, we have apps, contacts, and device settings. Uh, for example, when it comes to the apps, you don't need to you know, copy all of them, uh, but if you click right in here, you can simply mm, manually select or unselect the apps that you are interested in and are not interested. It's completely up to you. Mm, I'm just gonna leave it just like it is now. Uh, click on restore. Mm, now the process uh, will start. Mm, and now, just like in the previous, uh, method in here click on accept mm, now we have a possibility to backup just like in the previous case I'm going to turn it on I think you should also do it click on next select your default browser now I'm gonna select Google Chrome and the Google as my search engine click on continue and now we have the Gemini which is the AI assistant it's completely up to you I'm gonna enable it 
Uh, in here we have the owner ID. I'm gonna click on cancel. Click on continue now. Now we have a possibility to log in into the owner ID. Uh, I'm gonna click that I don't have an account. And I'm gonna set it up later in the settings. The same thing with the uh, password. I'm gonna set it later. Okay. Same thing, of course, with the Google Pay in my case. In here, click on Enable, click on Join, select your uh, navigation method. I'm gonna leave the gestures. If you don't know how to use them, click on Gestures Tutorial. But you have also my uh, option to use three keys. Click on Finish. Okay, boom. And now, as you can see, our device is ready to uh, use. Mm, also, you shouldn't uh, disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet. Uh, I think you should wait a little bit uh, because uh, some of the apps uh, might be uh, might be installed from the Play Store in the background. Uh, and if you basically disconnect from the Wi-Fi, it won't happen. So mm, it should also appear in the mm, notification bar if something is uh, downloaded. Uh, okay, uh, you can see that uh, the apps are being installed. Uh, simply wait until uh, they are. Hmm. They are installed uh, finally, and then you can disconnect from the Wi Fi. Okay, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.